Thank you very much, Holly. Hi, Mike. Welcome back. Thank you. Now, when you are not busy running Mike Perry Real Estate, you run a motorcycle gallery in Christchurch. Yes. Can you tell us yeah. more about that? Okay. Um, uh, a couple of years ago, I had this idea. I had a big uh, empty building and uh, nothing to put in it. So I, I thought, well, I just started riding motorbikes again after a long time out. And I was a motorcycle racer and rider and mechanic in the 70s and 80s. So I turned the clock back and here I am with um, about 60 motorcycles from that era wow. on display. And so. when you first opened it, how many motorbikes did you have yourself in the shed that weren't doing anything? Uh, well, I actually only had two or three. Wow. But, uh, so I hadn't started collecting, but I decided to. I put the word out there and then all these guys from around the country, I put it out on Facebook and, and within six weeks, I say I had 60 motorcycles. So, you know, from Suzuki 50s right through to 1100 wow. Hondas and racing machines and you name it. All That's Friends. That's a lot of my motorbikes because yeah. you have a real passion for it, don't you? And did you won yeah. national championships? Um, yeah, I was six times New Zealand champion, um, 350, 500s, uh, the Grand Prix machines back in the 80s. So um, most people are quite surprised to hear that, but yeah, that's what I did. I, I used to fix um, machines uh, during the week and go racing, and so I raced in New Zealand and Australia. Wow. And um, yeah. Did that, was it the fixing of the motorbikes that got you interested in racing them, or were yeah. you already racing them around? Oh, look, I got straight into it. I was right. the youngest, and possibly still the youngest, to win a New Zealand Championship at 17. Wow. Um, I still got a land speed record for a um, 350cc motorcycle. Um, but but I've, I'm still racing motorcycles today. I've gone the full circle and spending more money than I did as a teenager. So you stopped for a while. And yeah, yeah, like roughly 30 years. Um, okay. So 30 years without racing, and then it was back, back into it. Um, Is it like riding a bike? <laughs> I've never heard that one before, Mike. <laughs> yeah. Mike the bike. Uh, but uh, but you, yeah. get, you get on it and away you go. Yeah, there oh, you go. No, well, I love the fact that you've got all these motorbikes in one spot because people are quite fascinated yeah. by them. Look, um, you know, they're, they're, they're being restored by people and very kindly loaned to us by people from all over New Zealand. So wow. they come and they go and, um, yeah, some beautiful machines. That's very cool there. So what's the reaction been to it? Oh, overwhelming. Uh, we, we, uh, you go to Facebook uh, if you face... Um, go there or our website which is motorcycle gallery you'll see it so um yeah we, we get talking about motorbikes the hardest part for me is getting out of the gallery because you know people are coming around talking and reminiscing about their suzuki gt380 their water bus or their honda and so on what what is the most popular brand of bike do you think in um look but you know you've got the four japanese brands suzuki yeah. honda y yamaha and kawasaki that we've got a bit of everything and and i was a yamaha rider i was sponsored by yamaha new zealand and wow. on the factory machines and back in the day but um yeah, I'm, I'm, I lean towards those, but I love the two strokes that you don't see on the road today. So we've got a full selection, as you can see on screen, there's a bit of everything. Do you have a favourite era of motorbike? Like, do uh, they change yeah. dramatically? Yeah, look, the, the early 80s, uh, in 1981, I, I won nine different championships and TTs and that, and that was my best year ever. I was lucky that particular year to win more than any other New Zealand rider. Um, but, you know, that was, a, a, it takes me back. It's hard to imagine it was like, uh, 35 years ago that those things are those good old days but wow. um, we still go out there I was racing in Sydney just a few weeks ago um, what what's your favorite bike in the gallery um, I think my Yamaha RD 350 1976 um, just you see a lot of the engine there's not too much fiberglass it was almost before there was a it was all chrome and so they just like cars you know right. you have the classic collectors and the same with motorbikes beautiful paint jobs and chrome pipes and all that so. what type of families are visiting i guess it would be everybody oh yeah all sorts so we're from you know uh, but typically i'll be uh, probably around the 50 to 60 70 year olds at low. but then you know you'll see th their wives will come in they look yeah. really interested yeah. um <laughs> when the husband's talking and you, well you talk to anyone who's passionate about something and you can get interested yeah. you know what that'd be yeah. it'd be a great trip to the gallery it would be a great thing for father's, father's day. day absolutely yes. yeah. yeah yeah so even aucklanders uh, can jump on a plane fly there come in it's only fifteen dollars uh the airfare might be a couple of hundred but <laughs> worth hey, it worth it yeah a lot of people actually we have visitors from all over the world and what do you think makes motorbikes in new zealand so popular um a lot of motorcyclists especially mm. from my area if you go to the baby boomers 
um, yeah, we, we just that was our mode of transport. It was yeah. just what we did, and we hung out in bikes. And you've got a special promotion for anyone that's uh, a Mike Perro real estate customer? Yeah, we have. Yep, yep, free. Just wander in, we'll let you in free. It, it's, I mean, it's only $15, but look, if you're a loyal customer of Mike Perro real estate, then... Buy a house, you get in for free. <laughs> Save $15. I love it. God, there's so many layers to you, Mike Perro. I love it when you oh, come here. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, Thank thanks, you. thanks for stopping Pleasure. by. Pleasure. Uh, it looks and sounds like a great slice of motorcycling history that's been preserved and shared. Very good job. But if you would like more information, head along to the website, motorcyclegallery.co.nz.